Hello, here we are Saturday for Art Journal Prompt of the Week. I've given these a good shuffle actually, so they're all ready to go. So I'm just going to deal out three cards. One, that way around. Two, that way around. And a three. <laughs> Both of them, were, all three were upside down. Okay, so the first one has some feathers on. The second one has a clock. Not Liza Minnelli, her mum Judy. Uh, and it says the past, so that'll be fun. And the third one has a face, and it says be wiser. Mmm, mmm. What can we make with those? Right, I'm going to get my art journal, find some pages to work in, and I'll be back in a sec. I thought I'd mention and emphasise again that these cards you do not need to buy to take part in my art journal prompts every week because I will draw the cards and you can follow along with those drawn cards but if you want you can download and print them yourself from my Etsy shop. If you're a member of my Patreon, uh, the link is down below, you can also get a massive discount on that price as well. But again, I must emphasise you do not have to download them. But I know some people wanted them. I've sold quite a few downloads already. There are lots of different cards. Every single one is different. What you do is you print them. I've backed them with some jelly prints, but you can back them with whatever you want. Um, someone did try them on photograph paper and she said they turned out lovely. So that's good. Um, I had a thought, I've actually got some vinyl sheets. You could probably laminate them or something like that. That would be nice, that would protect them from dirty fingerprints, like when you've been doing a lot of painting and stuff. So, I just thought I'd um, reiterate, you don't have to buy them, but they are available if you want them. Right, I think I know where I'm going with this. From these cards, I'm going to use the blues and greens, but I'm also going to highlight an area with a peach colour, which I think goes quite nicely with the blues and greens. It's gonna be a soft peach colour. Um, I've got a couple of stencils of faces I might use. There's that one, but oh, I might be too busy. There's this one, which I might have a half of because I haven't got one. I think I have got one somewhere, a silhouette one. Hmm, might be able to draw that out actually. Ha, ah, I've got some ideas. And I'm going to use the circle element from the clock, which is going to have the face on top of it. That's the plan. I'm not going to use the feathers because I think that's going to be too busy. Um, I think I'm going to use the words be wiser. Because we all need to be a bit wiser. So that's the plan. So I'm going to apply some paint. I've already squished some out. I'm still using, where's my paint pots? I'm still using the, what is it now? The Lasco gouache. So I'm going to use all this up. Don't like to waste any paint. I don't know what our water pots are on the floor. Right, here they are. Right, let's get some paint down.
Right, here we are. So I've done the background, I've got the circle in, and I've got to put the face on. I'm just using a stencil, it's one of my favourites. It's one of my best sellers, actually. I'm just going to very carefully stencil through with Payne's Grey, which is almost black. that off and there she is oh I love that I do love a bit of black right oh my god I just put that in the white never mind and now I've got the words be wiser <sighs> part of me wants to write along the edge but I don't think well be wiser obviously isn't going to cover up, up much space let me think how I can do that okay what I've decided to do is write the word be wiser all the way around and repeat it several times My Be Wiser page, use the face, use the words Be Wiser, use this peachy colour in this background and I use the blue greens for the rest of it. So, out of nowhere, I had no thoughts in my mind about what I was going to make. I have managed to make an art journal page just from drawing three cards and getting inspiration from them. Um, I hope you give this a go, if you do, let me know, by using hashtag Carrie prompts, Carrie's prompts, and I'll find that on Instagram, or if you put them anywhere else, just let me know and I'll find them. Thank you very much for watching, bye.